Hello, everybody. Let me see if I can see myself. Okay. Okay, I'm at my garden now to do a plein air painting. Okay, I'm uh, at to my garden now to do a plein air painting. Uh, at to my garden. Okay, I don't like the echo. Okay, this is the painting I did inside my window. Now the rain stopped. Um, I'm going to do a plein air painting in outside. Um, in, in my yard, backyard. Um, I have some comments from my dear friend in China, Da Tong Xu. He, he suggested that I do a, uh, improve the composition by uh, make the, the flowers um, up and down, not at the you know, same level too close, and uh, increase the contrast of space. Um, Anyway, it's a very good, uh, inspiring comment from my dear friend, Da Tong. Um, thank you, Da Tong. I'm going to do another painting. And I have a live model right in front of me. As you can see, um, it's a, uh, one tall, one uh, low. And uh, um, just, you know, meet my uh, requirement for this uh, it's a, uh, suggestion. So I'm going to do a painting. You're just look. You're seeing the video from my head, uh, over my head. I have a camera mounted on my head, so uh, you see what I'm looking at. And I will check occasionally, just make sure I. Uh, okay, here we go. I think that's about it. You may not see the flowers, but uh, when I lift my head like that, you will see it right in front of me. But uh, when I paint, I want you to see my my brush. Let me just put my phone on the ground so I can monitor it. Forgive me if to uh, adjust my angles and so on. So I put my my pants and my pants and the palette uh, on my knee. I try to make it simple without the easel or anything. So I make some hot pink. This is a very uh, Good smell, you know, good uh, fragrant rose. I don't know the name, but uh, it's very fragrant. I can smell it. It's a red, hot color, different from the previous ones i done. I got a double, a triple load actually, with some orange and some red. Okay, here we go. a little bit. I try to keep uh, uh, some space between strokes. You can see my strokes. Some smearing is good. When I try to depict, I lose the, um, the momentum, you know. So I have to do it fast, I think. Okay, that's the tall one. And now I uh, would do the lower one. Reload the brush, just to dilute it, I think. 
And this is a more like a faded flower there. Keep it low. When the brush is uh, wet, uh, just do it fast. This one is off focus, it's okay. Just add a little dark definition there. Wet into wet. Alright. Now I just use the same brush maybe uh, to dot a little butt. Here's this. And uh, two more there. I'll leave it maybe later. You see there are many little butts there, so I have to omit some. I think still it's too too close on uh, the height. Let me see if I can make this taller. All right, maybe save this brush for now and use different brush for black or ink. Let me get my ink. Try to do it uh, calligraphically, so I don't have to do the veins. There's a squirrel on the tree there. You can hear that noise. The, there are little um, dots along the edge of the, the rose leaves. This is a traditional way to depict that character. Too much detail, maybe. Anyway. Try to overlap the two 
flowers. Exhaust the brush already. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit background. Let's see what we can do the tender leaves. We can add a little a little red to the ink. I like this root leaves. I wish I can you can see. Can you see that? <laughs> I cannot really see what uh, my camera looks uh, lens. Okay, here we go. Spot coming out. Do some other. I love these shapes, so delicate. I wish I could do it more realistically, but in Chinese painting, we um, only paint the impression. Call me. I'm in the middle of something. We have an answering machine, so if you call right now, you'll get the answering machine. I do answer calls. I'm an artist, I'm a teacher, and I do custom support and sales. Everything. By the way, we thank you for your support. Um, and as a YouTuber, you'll get 10% off if you order supplies, like the brush I'm using. Um, it's a piston water brush. You can get from our website. Um, and the ink is a convenient ink cake. That book is a Sumi um, sketchbook or hand-bound uh, rice paper. Sketchbook. Okay, I I give you this code YouTuber uh, with a capital Y and capital T. I'll put in the video um, description. Maybe you can get ten percent off if you order supplies from us. The red thorns. I I call this uh, um, chocolate. His chocolate move. I don't have to do the the uh, veins, I think. But if you want, you can use some uh, dark rouge or ink. Do that. And. The title, I haven't uh, thought about that. We'll just do a short one, maybe. You can see the model. I wish I had larger, larger paper so we can uh, paint this tall one, really tall. Uh, this lower one on the bottom, that's a nice composition. Um, I wish I, I'd do it later uh, in, my in, in my home on a real piece of paper. This is a just a sketch. Um, there's a poem says, uh, um, 
the uh, let me write it down I'll translate later do not uh, boast the the colorfulness of uh, other flowers spring flowers such as peaches and plums uh, let me write this first. Okay, um, it means uh, the falling petals of dark roses covering uh, the green mosses. That's the literal translation. I, I um, don't know how to translate it nicely. Uh, it's an it's a ancient poem. Okay, um, I'll leave it uh, right now and uh, I'll do the signature and the same later thanks for watching and uh, thank you for following me on youtube again you can get a discount from blueheronarts.com if you purchase these uh, uh, products uh, the code is uh, youtuber youtube with the r bye bye youtuber see you next time